Hi everyone, State Senator Kevin Whitkos here from my office in the Legislative Office Building. I have this new thing I came up with, it's called the RUN Report, the Republican Update Network. And the reason why I came up with this is because, well, first of all, it's the 21st century and it's a lot easier to communicate sometimes via the, the computer. And as you know, in order to save money uh, to the state and to you, the taxpayer, I've opted not to send out my weekly mailers because you're paying for the cost of the postage and, and the mail itself. So I can bring this to you at basically no cost. Uh, what I wanted to do with this run report is to update you on specific pieces of legislation that we're discussing here in the legislative office building and we may be voting on at the end of session. One of the bills that we've discussed recently at a public hearing which had a lot of publicity in the news was Sunday liquor sales. But this bill went farther beyond just allowing alcohol to be sold on Sundays. There were provisions in the bill which talked about quantity discount, minimum price, a bottle pricing, uh, a medallion system, allowing alcohol to be sold in convenience stores, allowing restaurants to stay open and sell alcohol till 2 o'clock in the morning. So you don't hear about those things, and that's the reason why I, I have the run report. Check back often, as I will update those on specific um, bills of interest that I think that you, you'd like to hear more about. But Sunday sales, um, and I keep referring to Sunday sales because it's the easiest way. Uh, I found out that the, the quantity pricing, what that means is if you buy a case of, say, wine, uh, you may be able to sell it cheaper for the more cases of wine that you buy. Well, in Connecticut, we don't have quantity pricing right now. And come to find out, if we did, it would cost you more money. While that doesn't make sense, that's the way it is now. In Connecticut, for a case of wine, we pay for case number one what Massachusetts pays for case number 25. The minimum uh, pricing of bottles, well, we, we say, well, why should we, why should we create an arbitrary floor? Our arbitrary floor is nine cents. We require the end user, which is the retailer, to charge at least nine cents more than what they pay for it. So it's not a big, a big issue where we can get better sales. What we found out were our taxes, our excise tax, and our sales tax, and the bottle bill. Those are the three issues that they've said, they meaning the retailers, could drastically reduce our price and make Connecticut more competitive in the liquor industry if we address those three issues. So check back more often and we'll let you know where we are on the Sunday liquor sales bill and other bills that I find more interest. Thanks for watching.